Uh, I think it's important to understand that environmental journalism uh, got its start at a time when global oil production was doubling every, every decade. The GIs come home from the war in 1945, global oil production doubles by 1960, doubles again by 1970. We passed the Endangered Species Act. It's an amazing piece of legislation. Uh, we take the NOAA out of the Bible and we put it in the law. <laughs> and, and you, I, I mean, think about that. Honestly, could we even have that discussion today? And, and I asked my uncle Stewart about this briefly, but you know, just shortly before he died, he said, yeah, Nixon thought we were just protecting the bald eagle. Right. And he started laughing about it because <laughs> this, this is a visionary idea. It's a radical idea. It's a fascinating idea. It's an extension of human ethics. Uh, it just blows my mind even today when I think about it. Same way with wild and scenic rivers in the wilderness in Alaska. On and on and on, but we're we're in a new moment now, and I think the chamber representatives, uh, you know, really underscored that. Uh, global oil production is not going to double ever again in our lifetime. In fact, it's more likely to go down. Uh, global oil exports are already trending down. A story no one's written. Probably the most important energy story in the world. It's clear now that shale gas has been uh, is is a real phenomenon, but also an overhyped phenomenon. The Barnett Field in Texas, the granddaddy, uh, is only going to produce as much natural gas as the Joan Field in southwest Wyoming. So I think we have to wrestle with energy realities in the United States in a way we never have.